Hey guys, it's September, yahoos and boos. Yes, I do realize it's October already, but these are things that I have loved all through September. And actually, these are things that I have loved for years. Two of them I have loved for many years. So let me get into the yahoos and boos for September. First, let me start with this, and I'm sorry I ripped off, this kind of went off, but <laughs> this kind of ripped off. But OxyClean makes a thing called White Revive. And I gotta tell you, this has transformed my whites. I love buying white stuff because I can bleach it, but bleach sometimes can yellow over time. It comes with a scoop and you only need, well, it gives you levels of what you need. I only do about a half a scoop and I have a high efficiency washer. And the smell of this, I love. I love the smell. I also love the smell of bleach. It just smells clean. But this also just smells clean. So this has really transformed my whites. I would give it a try, guys, if you have a lot of whites. This somehow just makes it be just a little bit more white. Loving this product. Okay, on the long, along the lines of laundry, which you're gonna, I don't know, this isn't really a laundry product, but it does, actually it does say laundry stains on it. I don't know if y'all have heard of Less Doyle. This has been around for, I can't even, I, I think before I was born. Less Doyle is one of my go-to things to use when I get something oily on my clothes. And I am notorious for getting things on my clothes. So Less Doyle is just wonderful. What I do is, as soon as I have something like I'm in the laundry and I realize something is oily, I will literally take the stain, this is a washcloth so it's not this, but I'll take the stain and put it over the cap and I'll just go like that and then it's on there. And I will tell you it's a pretty strong smell and I'll just let it sit and then I launder it like normal. Now I would recommend you trying it out in, now my room smells very strong, but I would recommend trying it out in an inconspicuous spot for, before you try it on, you know, if you haven't put it on your clothing yet. But I have not ruined anything yet with it. The strong, the smell is strong. It will smell up your whole entire laundry room. I don't think it's a horror. I actually like the smell. My husband does not like the smell, but it really does. It's a grease fighter. So it says it's do heavy duty for oil and grease, household and laundry stains. So I will link this below. I will also link the, um, the OxyClean as well below. But these have really helped me greatly in my laundry. So loving these two things. The third thing I'm going to tell you about is what I eat for breakfast. I am not a huge cereal eater. It's just not my favorite thing. I used to eat it as a kid and I think I just liked the real sugary stuff. And I just don't like any of it. I don't like the milk in it and ugh. So breakfast in a hurry sometimes can be a challenge. I do love eggs and things, but I don't always have the time. So I do like yogurt. And so what I, so what I do is I take the strawberries and just put them in the Cuisinart and I puree them till they're totally liquefied. I put the liquid, I add nothing to it. It's just strawberries. I add, put that in muffin tins and I freeze them overnight. Then what I do to get them out of the muffin tins, which is the harder part, is I just put water in the bottom of my sink, just a shallow layer of hot water, and I layer, I put the muffin tin down in the water, and it just gets them loose, it melts them a little bit, and then I just pop them out, and I put each puck or muffin, strawberry muffin, in a baggie, and I keep that in the freezer. Each morning when I wanna get my breakfast, I go ahead and take the strawberry, um, puck and I put it in a container. I take yogurt. I like whole milk plain yogurt because I don't like to get the extra sugars. So my goal is to get as least sugars as possible. And I know like a whole milk plain yogurt actually has 11 grams of sugar and I just didn't know that, but they are naturally occurring. So they're not gonna be bad for you. And the strawberries are obviously naturally occurring. I'm not adding any sugar to that. The only extra sugar I add is I really like this. It's called 
kind healthy grains you guys have seen these they have um, bars and things like that and all different kinds of granola but th my favorite is the oats and honey clusters I guess I like it because it's got a crunch but it's not so hard that it hurts my teeth some granola hurts my teeth so anyways I add I would say about a quarter cup into my strawberry and yogurt mixture and mix it up and that's my breakfast each morning I love that and I can have that almost every single morning so sometimes I do obviously have time and I'll make eggs um, so but this is my go-to breakfast it's healthy it's low in sugar this only has wait hold on how many grams of sugar I was gonna memorize it five grams of sugar for a third a cup so I do a quarter cup so it's actually a little bit less. Sometimes I'll do a third cup. It depends on how much, but it's only got five grams of sugar. So it's all very healthy and I love that. So that is absolutely one of my most favorite breakfast things to eat. The last thing I'm gonna show you is something for on my bed. I hate it when my the fitted sheet um, gets moving throughout the night and it's all bunched. I really like the fitted sheet to be extremely tight on the bed and that's hard because obviously that's my husband and I in the bed and that's going to make the sheet move and that drives me crazy. So I found many years ago, I found it at Bed Bath & Beyond. I looked at Bed Bath & Beyond and I didn't see it. They have other things, there's straps and things like that. I don't know if, how well those work but I did find these on Amazon. This is called a sheet gripper, and I will link it below. And I'll show you how I do this. You can see where I take it, and it grabs onto the little extra, I don't know what that's called, beading on the mattress. So you put your sheet and your protector over you know, the mattress, and you tuck it in, and then you take this gripper, and you just slide that on over um, that extra, fabric. I don't know what it's called, beading of fabric, whatever. And that grabs, and I do that on the other side of the bed, and I usually do two on each side. You could do the bottom of the bed too, it doesn't matter. And it holds the sheet pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's absolutely better than without it. So I love these things. I actually need to order them. Over years and years of using them, they actually cracked, but I'm talking I don't know, 10 years of using these things. So love them, they're not expensive. I think they're under 15 bucks. I think they're like 12 bucks for I think four, but I'll link it and so you guys can check it out yourself. But love this to keep my sheets nice and tight. And guess what? I didn't have any booze, they were all yahoos. I could not find one single thing. One of the things you need to know about me is as soon as something doesn't work, I return it and get rid of it. And because I'm kind of new to the whole YouTube thing, I forget to keep it. So, <laughs> it's only Yahoo's in September. So maybe October I'll have a boo, but it's all Yahoo's today. That's it guys, for the month of September of my favorites, I loved them. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do that. That's it, I hope you all are well and God bless.